Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Hummelado with 470 rating versus Triv Gaming with 634 rating. So this is going to be another DB match. Also, make sure to go ahead and check out Triv Gaming's YouTube channel. Link down below at the very top of the description, and then hopping right in, we're gonna go ahead and see Triv win the rock, paper, scissors shoe, and they're gonna decide to go first, 40 versus 41. Opening hands, we have called by Vashuda, Ashina, Imperm Desires. They have Lily. Lone Fire, Prosperity, Sewing, and Unexpected Dice. So we're going to have the Sun Avalon, Therion deck with probably Brave. Oh, actually, no, I was going to say with probably Brave Token stuff too, but then we saw the Lone Fire. So usually they don't play this. If they play the stuff, or could be one Lone Fire. Um, then we're going to see the Sword Soul Tenyu deck. So this is a deck. Said, yo, best deck. Uh, they probably think they're on Pendulum because it's Triff, but... This deck, um, I don't think is very good. A lot of people think this deck is, like, the best deck for the YCS coming up. I really don't think so. I don't know how this deck breaks a single board, honestly. Like, I just can't do it well. So, like, everyone's like, oh, you just, like, link, 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 and beat everything. And I'm like, oh, but Mirror Jade Effect banish <laughs> it's like what do you do then it's like oh i baited it with brave okay mirror jade oh now you did the mirror jade oh oh <laughs> like mirror jade is crazy okay that card's wild but activate unexpected die and that's gonna go summon so it's gonna go ahead and bring out the loki this is like the, the monster that you banished with mirror jade because card's crazy because it gets you to this and then they're gonna go ahead and activate that effect chain imperm on that this is where you'd want to imperm and then special summon out Lily and equip this. And then effect. They're going to send the Loki. And now they can go search. So go ahead. And it's going to grab this Coliseum. Did this card's name change? Honestly, I didn't really learn this card's name before. But I'm pretty sure it changed. And then they're going to activate to go search. So it's going to go search out King now. And then on resolution. Uh, activate sewing. So they're going to lose a thousand to special summon now. They're not going to be able to like get this effect because it's impermed and they can still activate it. They probably should still activate it, but they're going to go ahead effect summon back out and now go for Jasmine. Unless if they plan on triggering this later, but I don't think so. No, <laughs> uh, now they're going to get King effect. So special summon that and then equip Lily Jasmine effect. Tribute off the twin to go search or not search special summon special summon out Lural, and then now they're gonna go ahead link those off into Jasmine and here's where the searching is gonna go. Lural effect gain 500 and then both Jasmine's effects to go double search. So just go grab two plants. Very good, obviously. Go ahead grab Snowdrop and then grab Rose Girl. Okay, and then they're going to normal summon out Rose Girl because they started with unexpected die. And then link off, go into Midas, Midas effect, special summon back out Loki, and then Rose Girl, add back, because this card says if a plant monster is on the field and this is in your graveyard, you can add this back, you can only use that once per turn. Um, I guess the other effect too, if face up plant monster control, since your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. I guess that could also come up if you're like trying to go for a game. Uh, then they're going to turn those into this effect, special summon back out the Loki. Link off, summon, and then effect, go search shrine. Not once, like, none of these are just once per turn, by the way. The cards are crazy. Now, activate shrine, you have to discard the rose girl, and then go ahead, link, and then shrine effect, a special summon back. Now, turn that into link one, link one effect, go search sewing. Now, turn those into link four effect, go search trap. Yeah, I should probably actually learn these cards' names. They're just, like, insanely hard. Like, Benja Lancer, Benjamin Lancer, Benja Lancer, Resurgent. It's probably not that hard. It's just, like, oh, uh, I don't feel like learning that. Then they're going to tribute the special, and this is a free tribute because it can summon itself back. But special summon and special summon and lone fire effect. Let me read the trap, please. It's imperm. Uh, tribute to go special summon out shadow. And then effect to make it and shadow. Well, I guess not it and shadow level eight. Um, just make all the plants that they control level eight and go for teardrop. 
and then special summon back out by banishing activate prosperity now uh, they didn't like do any drawing techniques or anything so look at the top three we see droplet reaper oh this card is disgusting and then so oh, three sewing uh see i don't like three of this honestly even like i don't know i did i did a good amount of testing like i tested so many decks because of the ycs coming up and i wanted to like learn all the decks with like all the support and everything so th this deck i really don't like three sewing that's crazy that they're playing three of it so they're gonna grab back droplet i also think the reaper is insane too like actually just wild Let's go ahead and put those back and they're gonna set pass draw ahara um yeah usually you play you can play one of this but usually you play two of it so now go main phase activate Hadara effect special summon out so i guess we can go over the end board we have king which is a negate and this doesn't negate activations this negates effects which is really important in this meta uh, we have Teardrop, which is just once per turn, quick effect, attach, tribute your monster for nothing, and then this gains attack. Um, this will go ahead, target a monster the opponent controls, and then you're going to, the, the Triv would then take damage equal to its attack, and then bounce it to hand. So that's like pretty cool. Uh, also note, this can't bounce something with like zero attack, like Adara. And then we have Droplet as an interruption. We have Bloom, uh, Field Spell is pretty good. It says once per turn when a monster, oh, wrong one, wrong one. Uh, once per turn, if your monster would be destroyed by battle, you can send one Therion card from your deck to the graveyard instead. And then they don't play this. So uh, then I guess the other effect is something that could come up too. Uh, once per turn when a monster is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can target a Therion monster in your graveyard, add it back to hand. So they're going to turn the Adara into Monk and then Vashuda effect banish to try to bounce what was the target there was it the teardrop um special monk banished target the king to try to bounce this they're gonna chain to negate now activate desires so desires go banish banish in 10 too long young and then draw impermentaya now otter effect banish to add back so let's get and grab back the shudo and then the Shudo effect, special summon out, Ashina effect, banish to go summon Adara. Okay, okay, bring that out. Think here, you're gonna tribute the Shudo now with teardrop, and then normal summon Taya, and then activate the effect, banish, chain bloom to negate. And they admit the feat. So moving on to the next game now, we're gonna see Sword Soul go first, opening hands. We have Droll, Bell, Ecclesia, Otter, Ashina. Droll's very good versus the opponent's deck. Um, this is something that you could definitely side in. They have Shrine, Regeki, Evenly, Lone Fire, Sewing. Oh, they're playing like, you know, going second cards. Interesting. So Ashina, special summon out, get rid of that, go for Monk. And then Adara, special summon out, uh, Ashina effect. Banish to go summon, bring out Vashuda, and then get rid of those, summon Grandmaster, and then Grandmaster effect, go search Blackout, Adara, Banish, grab back Ashina, normal summon Ecclesia, Ecclesia effect, tribute, bring out Moyi, Moyi effect, reveal Ashina, summon token, Regeki is like, it's so wild in this matchup, Moyi draw on the Moyi, set Blackout, Added blackout, yes, pass, draw talents. I'm actually just like, I, I'm salty for the Sword Soul player that they drew Regeki. This card is just like, it's so good against this deck. Actually just outed three interruptions with Regeki. And then normal summon Lone Fire. Okay, okay. And then Lone Fire effect, tribute to go special. So they're going to special summon out the Loki there. Link off. Go ahead and summon out Dryas, and then effect to go search. So that'll go ahead, search out Sewing, and then they're going to activate the Lone Fire there on Resolution, and then Talents to look at the hand. So Talents will then go ahead and hit back Moe, 
decides to get rid of that. Could have also got rid of Ashuna. And then activate Sewing. So, special summon out from deck. And then they're going to lose a thousand. And now here, they're going to go ahead and activate the Link 1, Chain Link 1, and then Twin, Chain Link 2. So, that'll go ahead and resolve. Special summon back out Loki. Oh, they said think in response actually. If they want to go ahead and uh, bell this. Said. Okay. So, special summon back. This will summon out Thrasher. Um, activate Thrasher effect, target itself, so it's gonna gain, well, it's gonna go, wait, huh, you target one Sun Avalon Link monster on the field, this card gains attack equal to that monster's Link rating, okay, yeah, so target itself, now, now I have, yep, okay, it has 16 attack now, yep, I don't know why I was confused there for a second, um, I'm gonna go ahead and then go into Jasmine, this card actually becomes really dangerous later on in the game, you can activate it, and then target big guys, Make this card gain a lot of attack. Uh, go for Jasmine. Jasmine effect. Tribute off twin to special summon out. So now this will special summon out the Rose Girl. Droll hurts. Sorry. No problem. I also need to read every single one of those cards. So it's fine. I am reading as I'm playing. <laughs> Fair enough. Go for Link 1. And then Rose Girl effect. Add back. Yeah, I don't think many people are actually going to be on this deck at the YCS. I think some people will definitely play it for sure. I don't I honestly, I could definitely see it getting a top or two. I don't think it's that great though. Uh, Shrine trying to summon out from Graveyard Chain Bell. And then they're going to link off. Go ahead, summon effect. Special summon back up from Graveyard. And then link those off. Summon. Now link those. Go ahead and go on the Sylvan Dance. Uh, they're just not using the effect. Oh, it's wild. Um, that's on summon. Sorry, I thought I was on resolution. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was like, no way, you summon this just not to use the effect. But, alright, we'll go over what this card does. This is a new link plant. If this card is link summoned, you can choose a number between 1 and 3. Excavate that many cards from the top of your deck. And if you do, you can special summon up to 2 of the excavated plant monsters, but they cannot be used as a link material. Also send the remaining cards to the graveyard. Then it says you can target one plant monster in your graveyard that has a level. The levels of the monsters this card points to becomes that monster's level until the end of the turn. So pretty much you can go ahead and make your guys level 8. And then make some drop. But they're going to go ahead and they're going to get the special summon out Lily here. Sage was hoping for two plants. And then they're going to special summon out by banishing. And then battle phase, attack, attack, attack. Yeah, you can see, like, this is not a super... I mean, it was, like, through Droll Bell, but Droll really is what did the work. You see how much Droll, like, actually ends up hurting that deck. And then set evenly, pass, draw Ash Blossom. Ashina effect, special summon out. And then link off, go for Monk. Activate the effect, target Monk. You need to target one effect monster. Yeah. I think that's a misplay. <laughs> uh, you target Ashina and then just like put him on better have it. Right? If you, if you go ahead target this, you just put him on have something good. And they would not have. But now we're going to get Ashina to go summon out Adara. The Shuda effect. Banish target, they're gonna chain target, but this also just doesn't do anything. He's banned, yeah, th this would be banned, but this this isn't supposed to go to hand because if we'll go ahead and read over this, it says uh, target one effect monster your opponent controls, take damage equal to its attack, and if you did take damage, which you want it, return it to hand. But Otter effect, special summon itself out. Yeah, it's not like a big deal that that happened, but it's something that you should know. Go in the monk. Uh, Adara effect, banish, grab back Ashina, and then link off, go in the shaman, shaman effect, discard Ash Blossom, the special Moyi, and then Moyi effect, reveal Ashina. So now everything is known on the Sword Soul side after the Ash went. And then we're going to go ahead and go in the Grandmaster, Moyi effect to draw, draws into Emergence. Oh? Activate Emergence, go search Long Young. 
I swear, Mohi recently has just been drawn into Emergence or Long Young or Blackout or Floodgate. It's just not drawing anything else other than those like good cards. It's dumb. It's dumb. Long Young summon out. And then we're gonna turn this into Supreme effect. Burn for twelve. And then go battle phase, shaman attack, beat over that. And then beat over. Yeah, they were just doing the math there. I'm I'm just gonna guess that they got the math right. I'm not gonna try to focus on that. And then attack. End the battle phase. Activate evenly. Said lol. But hey, it's not bad. It's not bad. Definitely unexpected though. They they would not have been like, oh, that's probably evenly set. And then pass, draw droplet. Ooh. Shrine effect to summon back out from graves. So droplet deals with Supreme. They're gonna special summon back out Loki. And now, yeah, they're thinking if they wanted to use black out here, they decide not to. Rose girl effect, add back to hand. And then they're gonna link off, summon effect, go search. So it's gonna go search, summon. No target, sorry. Okay, so they ended up siding out one of them when they were going second. It makes sense. You don't, you don't really need three of it. And then up next, I only know Rose Girl in hand, right? They said yes. And an obvious Sunvine sewing. Yep. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. So now they're going to activate. Special summon out from deck. So summon out Loki, lose a thousand, and now they're gonna get the effect of their link one to special summon out, and then gang a thousand off of this. And now they summoned out healer, which you could guess has an effect to heal. So effect target itself, gang 300. Pretty dumb, honestly. And they keep giving decks, like every deck honestly has like a way to win in time, one way or another. Even like Despia, they have, I mean, they have a couple different ways, but realistically, it's just like Masquerade Pass. <laughs> Put your opponent on Make a Move within the next minute <laughs> if they don't call Judge. Summon out Jasmine. Now, they're also going to let this go. Uh, Jasmine Effect, Tribute, and then go Search. So, well, not, not search. Uh, why do I keep saying search? That's not the search effect. The, the other thing is the search effect. It's when you get to do, like, the Laurel combo. Uh, they're going to go summon out Lily. And now, Lily effect. Send the shrine to go search. They're letting all that go. This goes ahead and searches out the field spell now. Now go ahead, summon effect, special summon back out from graveyard. It's just like, oh, okay, okay. They're gonna summon that and then get rid of those to summon battle phase, attack, anything on the attack. No, because they actually just can't do anything on the attack and then activate droplet and damage step Getting rid of Rose Girl to half and negate this. So now that goes ahead and gets outed. Um I mean if they're only at 19 life points, couldn't you just like main phase? Um Draw, well, okay, so this card is getting 800 attack and then cut in half. So it'd be 38 cut in half, under 24. That's all that matters there. Activate Droplet, send Rose Girl to try to negate this. And then they could chain Blackout, I guess, to pop the link in Droplet. But then you summon back out from the graveyard and you go for game. If they don't do anything, then, you know, you just activate the effect, bounce this, you know, you're only taking half, and then, well, like, this is at 38, and then half, so 19, and then you take 19, cool, you're down to 500, you know your opponent's less set, it's blackout, and you 25 attack for game, so should have been game there, I'm fairly certain. 
like however you like you would want to like order it but now they're going to activate and search i mean this is pretty much game two though right like we're going to go search we're going to special summon equip we have a bounce we have a negate you have nothing you draw ecclesia special summon ecclesia effect tribute off effect to negate that and then ggs ggs so seeing how long the match was we can see that it was about 42 minutes long uh, also you got to see like the power of the draw and lock bird against this deck it can be extremely extremely good and that was with them also hard or no no i wasn't with them hard drawing so i don't know because they summoned the link one and went search it that's usually when you have to drop draw um well that's always when you drop draw but that's usually the opportunity you get when you have draw i should say um no brave token stuff in their deck at least we didn't see any i really doubt that they have any you know they have 22 cards left in deck usually the engine's a 10 card engine the odds of it being in there are very slim we didn't see a game one either we didn't see it off the sylvan effect or off prosperity so not playing brave token cards very interesting you have to play the therions the therions like are so good because it's a plant ah so it just works with your deck crazy now but I think that this deck has a lot of problems. It was kind of like how sad was before the ban list. It wasn't like, you know, a completely horrible deck that actually just didn't do anything. The deck going first was really strong. The deck going second has a lot of problems. <laughs> like, think about it. Sad going first, red rose plus right. Yeah, that's insane. You're ending on like six plus interruptions every single time and there's solid interruptions most of the time and then this deck is running on like four interruptions most of the time like at least four interruptions i should say and pretty good end board also um just like again the same problem it's just going second right going first it's nice going second it's not the deck can get hit by hand traps pretty hard, but hand traps aren't really in the format right now. I mean, they're kind of like creeping back. People were playing some just because they're scared of like, you know, like if it was just like Sword Soul Despia Meadow, you wouldn't really need hand traps because you can like break through their end boards. There's no like FTK end board or anything. So people are trying to put hand traps in their deck to be prepared for the other decks. But. It really depends what you think. Like, if you're going to the YCS next week, do you think there's going to be a lot of, like, Sun Avalon and, like, Therion Punk decks? Or do you think there's going to be more Despia Sword Soul? And it's like, you really got to think to yourself, well, what do you think's going to be played more? Yeah, like, it's pretty obvious it's going to be the Despia Sword Soul, right? Like, I don't know. People are just trying to, like, like remake the wheel, there's no need. Despia is crazy. It was crazy before the ban list. It's crazy after the ban list. It's crazy after the set drops. It was crazy before it. Like, it's just such a good... It's such a solid deck. It's crazy because, like, two months ago, I really thought that deck was not good. And now it's, like... The deck is just... It has everything that you really need in a deck. It has the follow-up, the end board. It's extremely hard to actually game through. So the follow-up actually matters. Yeah. Um, doesn't have hand traps though, which is unfortunate, but with all that being said, again, make sure to go ahead, check out Triv Gaming's YouTube channel. Also, I've been recording in the dark recently just cause I've been, I want, again, I wanted to start recording earlier on in the day at like 5 PM. I mean, it's nine right now. It's not like it's late or anything. It's just dark outside. So I'm trying to record a little bit earlier on in the day. You'll definitely see that soon. Tomorrow's recordings should be in the daytime. Yeah, they definitely will be, but with all that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. And stay safe. Peace. Also, the other giveaway just ended. There's going to be a new one coming up. Bye-bye-bye-bye.